All right, dudes. The day after I prepped it, I just got my second coat down. I don't want to get too close because apparently this stuff's super toxic. So it turned out pretty well. Uh, the first coat wasn't really glossy. It was kind of dull. So I went over it again. Um, I did not do my axles or my suspension because I've got uh, 529 gears going in the axles and I'm getting a lift kit so the suspension is going to be replaced anyway. And then I, uh, I made it all the way up to the just below the front driver's wheel. I did all that and I went all the way up there. So I did all the main parts of that frame. Um, I mean, obviously I didn't get it all because I, I still have the cab on. Um, I've got just a little bit left in that quart container so a quart will do a small pickup or at least half of a small pickup um, I'll do the front after I'm done with this bed getting put on I'll have uh, I'll have some time to enjoy driving it and then later in the summer I'm gonna if this engine ever quits I'll have the engine bay painted and stuff too but the back half is all coated and done so no more rust here's my uh, my other Toyota, this is an 88. Um, I actually took quite a bit of parts off of this one. And right now I've got the charger on it because uh, I actually stole the wiring harness out of this one and put it on that one because my wiring harness on the 85 was broke. So I, I stole the harness out of this one. Um, they weren't the same clips, but I just, I spliced in the clips on the other one and then uh, on this 88 all I have going to it right now is just the fuel pump the blue and the white for the uh, mechanic the rest of this I'll hook up later but um, this truck won't rev past 3,000 rpm so this one's gonna get fixed my 85 runs and drives that's my daily driver it'll be ready for paint in a little bit here um, I got a new valve cover gasket on it. I got new studs and grommets for the valve cover. LC engineering header. Um, I could probably replace the distributor and uh, cap and wires and all that, but I'm just going to wait until stuff breaks, I guess. I got a new master cylinder for my clutch. I put in a new master cylinder, or a, a new slave cylinder down there in the transmission. Um, I put in a speedometer cable, so that works. I put in a, uh, a new sending unit. I got a new sending unit, new fuel pump. This is the uh, wiring harness off the 88 I spliced into. So yeah, got new carpet in that one as well. And I think I'm gonna either go with like the, the newer paint code for Toyotas it's like they call it like concrete I'm gonna put either concrete paint on that or I'll just keep the original silver it's a long box SR5 with the bucket seats so I got wheels and uh, tires picked out I've got a lift kit coming and a bed coming and then uh, it's gonna be a pretty sweet truck so yeah this poor 15 stuff is nasty though. You don't want to breathe that in. You gotta have a you gotta have a respirator. So overall I I'd say it went pretty well. Thanks.